haven't figured out alien. Anyway, <laughs> well, but okay, here's my here's my tie-in. Okay. Maybe taking a first date to a movie, mm-hmm. you know, on a first date. So think back to your your first dates. Mm-hmm. Dinner in a movie. Dinner in a movie. With oh, some, yeah, yeah, there's usually food and maybe mm-hmm. some drinks, you okay. know, on the agenda for the mm. evening. Um, so what do you guys think is the best thing to eat and drink on a first date? If you could pick one of each, what, what would it be? Oof. Well, I was told by an <laughs> etiquette expert, do not order the salad because you'll spend all your time trying to stab it and yeah, eat and, it and properly it falls and, and, yeah, and yeah, not have anything in Cherry your Cherry tomatoes can become Ex- projectiles exactly, sometimes. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm, so I was told always order the mashed potatoes and the steak because mm. both of those are okay. easy to wow. cut and shovel and especially if somebody else is really good. especially if somebody, somebody else, else is, is picking paying. up the tab <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> but there there are actually things that you should order that would help maybe get you second dates you know and mm. and for, maybe build a long-term relationship oh yeah 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 there's a survey out here's what they found the best things you can eat or drink on a first date that will help lead to a relationship. Uh, and the best thing to drink are Bloody Marys, and the best thing to eat is fried chicken. Why Bloody Marys? I was wondering about alcohol. <laughs> Why? <laughs> lots and lots of alcohol, maybe. No, you, no, 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 maybe the <laughs> best thing to not to drink is a lot of alcohol, sure. perhaps, so. Yeah, on the, on the flip side, the survey found that the worst thing to eat and drink on a first date that will not lead to a long-term relationship are tequila shots, and pancakes. Mm. My guess is because, you know, it ended with breakfast, so it's not going to go. Yeah. <laughs> tequila shots. Pancakes. It comes from tequila shots in my experience. <laughs> Don't call me, I'll call you. And on that note, <laughs> we will take it from here. <laughs> All right. This is another one um, that it's, uh, let's see, survey for the second and third most effective options, having coffee or eating vegan food. That doesn't sound very entertaining. I mean, I can see going out for, for coffee if it's kind of like a, a lunch date or something Coffee's like that. Coffee's always like, you know, when you're not sure. So right. you want to do it, you know, in yeah. the middle of the afternoon because everyone's got somewhere to be. So yeah. you can always leave. Like, okay, thanks. Okay, <laughs> did you ever have an emergency phone call waiting, you know, oh, calling yes. you some? Oh, really? yes. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Pardon uh-huh. me for asking. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I always have that That's what goes ready through the woman's mind there. So <laughs> when is the phone going to ring? Anyway, all right, we want to know. Oh, my wh- dog needs to be groomed. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best thing to eat and drink on a first date? Pick one, anymore. pick your favorite. Let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> All right, are you ready for some food? Oh, yes. Yes. Cheesecake can always lead to a long-term relationship, right, Ken? How about the first date? How about going to Cheesecake and having some cheesecake? I I love it. I hid my tequila pancakes down here. (laughs) So, yeah, to make sure that I get a chance to come back anyway. Exactly. But then I guess you don't want to wolf down the whole piece of cheesecake because then you're going to, you know, just think, oh, I'll just Uh, have one. Just a delicate bite. Or at least two. And some white wine. Just bring it home and then indulge in it. And a good salad because it looks healthy that way right well and with the right. antioxidants that we're going to show you okay. hopefully it keeps you healthy so all right let's let's yes. all be honest raise your hand if you really really enjoy eating kale i know it's healthy not a whole lot of hands went up but, <laughs> no. uh, yeah. well, it didn't show any but, you, oh, no. but you have a great uh, way to make it taste a lot better. we do we want to we we have a lot of fresh items we want to bring a lot of nutritious items to folks we're usually thought of as the sweet factory you know the cheesecake we and all that are. so we yeah. brought we brought today some super antioxidant items we're going to make a super antioxidant okay. salad blueberries with kale and are, blueberries are yep very go ahead antioxidant, so dump those in there we're going to make a salad that has lots of antioxidants blueberries and that's going to be a lemon reduction, just about half that, and pour it in there. And now what I'm going to have you do, Mike, is I'm going to have you massage the kale. And what this is going to and do is going to break it up. This blueberries, everything else. And, and don't be shy doing this, and, right? and No, absolutely. And this is the way you get a second date right here, is massaging the kale. <laughs> well, That'll do it every time. you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, they know yes. you may have to move. <laughs> Here's our new line. Massage the kale. Massage the, the kale. kale. <laughs> so you're going to get it nice. There you go. And so those acids really? kind of break it down a little bit, make it chew, less chewy and give it a lot more flavor. And that's this great. Will, Just like that. Bruise no, the leaves perfect. or anything like that? You want to kind of bruise the leaves. Exactly. Oh, oh, that's great. Okay. So, so I'll have Fiona throw in mm-hmm. the rest of the salad mix over there right there in that big bowl. Okay. Go ahead and put it in there and then toss this up a little bit. Go. That's going to be mixed baby and spinach and butter lettuce, all of which has great flavor to I it. I love those kind of leaves. Those Absolutely. Are great. So we're going to put in some onions that are onions. In, soaked in water to take away the sting. Okay. Some roasted broccoli. And again, oh. just toss those oh. together there. And I know this is one of your favorites. 
arugula. Arugula, arugula. for that pepper, just that pepper flavor. And then the maybe the best thing that you can eat, healthy fats, a little bit of avocado. And oh, I'm yeah. not going to be able to get that out of there, so right. there you go. So and this just, is all part of the superfoods menu? This is the superfoods menu. It's full of uh, great fresh ingredients and antioxidants to help you fight off illness and everything else. Okay. So then we have a plate right there if you want to hold that plate up, and he can mound it in there. There you go. Oh, you're Oops. hired. You're hired as a, a salad cook. You know, it, and, and getting you're back to the whole. You're not doing a bad job. Thank you very much. Getting back to. I toss a, I, <laughs> toss a mean salad. salad. Thank you, sir. Um, getting back to first aid. See, that's a big salad, so you can maybe share that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Fiona, yeah. we're going to have you top it off. So, yeah. start with the grapes. And again, the grapes are a great antioxidant. Here, we're adding some fruit to those vegetables. Nice job. Mm -hmm. And let's, let's get some of the lemon, uh, the French mustard on there. Just kind of lightly, not a whole lot. There you go. Just kind of put it around. There you go. Perfect. Do I? You can toss it a little bit. You bet. Okay. And let's put some pears on there. And again, roasted pears, these are outstanding. And it's just a fresh, really great so way to have summer salad. Do you salad. roast them uh, just in the just, oven? Just cut in the them oven? up and just roast them in the oven. For yeah. how long? What temperature? Just uh, 350, and we roast them for about 20 minutes. And it just makes them a little softer oh. and brings out the sugars in them. What do you think? Good? All right. Mm. Oh, and wow. then add some almonds. Add some almonds to that just on top. You know, I love add, when you put mix all the different greens together and everything like that, but adding yep. like some grapes or some apples you or some, uh, some nuts. Yeah. And whenever you roast nuts like that, they're that delicious. Really, yeah. Sunflower seeds, again, great stuff. Let me, I'll take those for you. And so. out front of us there, you can see some of our other superfood salads. There you go. You get okay. a try. Give it okay. a taste on that. You've got the almond-crusted salmon salad right there. This is the... Restaurant version of the super antioxidant salad, which has all the ingredients in it, the grapes and everything's mm -hmm. in it. And then the last one is the kale and quinoa salad, another great item that's oh. unbelievable and flavorful. And I think Fiona liked the quin avocado quinoa is toast. one of those things that is oh, oh yeah, it's like huge, avocado huge, toast. huge avocado toast. Yeah, what do you think? How's that one? We put a whole lot of flavor in there. I'll tell you what, a lot of different textures with the crunchiness and the different lettuce mixes. And then the fruit. I mean, there's so much different stuff, and it's available anytime at our restaurants. And the dressing doesn't overpower it no. at all. You're just tasting no. all of those good, yep. the good tastes of the, especially like the, the arugula. blueberries and the yeah. arugula. That arugula adds that to it, and it's really, really great. And then, of course, after you eat really healthy, you wash it down with a piece of cheesecake. And this is there it is right there. This is Fiona's favorite. That yes. is the mango key lime cheesecake. You have to try. Okay. Mango, key lime, mango, and it's got key lime. mango and key lime cake, and then it's got a coconut crust. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I didn't mean to giggle like that, but boy, that is really that good. I'm really happy with the food. It's yep. so rare that we get that, that laugh, and you brought it out. And again, it's, and it's time for Mike to retire at this point. He's good. Specials? I'm done. Okay. We, we offer the these the all the time during the summertime. We want people to come in, eat healthy, nice, fresh ingredients at either mm. the North Star Mall where I'm located or at the Lock and Terra Mall. Either Visit SALive.com for more information on Cheesecake Factory. Excellent. Sir, thank you very much. Thank good you. seeing you. And coming up, it is a wild, or not coming up, but right now, it is a wild Wednesday, and... You got to meet somebody really, really special, didn't you? Oh, yes. I went to Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch and got to spend some time with Buddy the Giraffe. And he's a pretty big deal. <laughs> Is for the way you look at me. Buddy, that's not a carrot. Buddy, that's that's not a carrot. It's not a carrot. We're here at Natural Bridge and Wildlife Ranch inside the Long Neck Learning Center, and Tiffany Secting joins me, and we've got our friend Buddy here. Thanks so much for having us. Tell us a little bit about Buddy and his story. Buddy was born in 2013, and he has basically become the giraffe ambassador for the wildlife ranch. Buddy is getting ready to celebrate his fourth birthday. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's, he's quite the personality. Oh, he do quite and grows very rapidly, obviously. How much taller is he going to get and how tall is he right now? He's probably about 14 feet tall. And when they're mature, they're about 18, 19, some as, as tall as 20 feet tall. Wow. They're very, very long necks. Their necks are over six feet tall. 
and uh, as are their legs, but they actually have seven vertebrae, just like you and I. <laughs> They're just a lot bigger. Right. <laughs> and these horns are called what? I these know are called ossicones. Ossicones. And the giraffe horns are different than any other horn, where they're covered with hair. There's a bone core underneath. They eat all through the day. Um, and grazers. All through the night, yes, <laughs> they graze. A giraffe, surprisingly, uh, in the wild and in captivity, they only sleep about two hours a day. And this is, this is basically a form of protection because, you know, they can't lay down because it takes them a while to get up. Right. And so, so the predator... Sleep, do they sleep standing up? They sleep standing up. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. One of his favorite treats are, are carrots. And that's what he course, kept going for and right that's there. What, yeah, oh, he was, oh, oh he look was, at this. Yeah. Oh, look at this. He yeah. heard carrots. And he is very polite oh, about wow. the way he eats his look carrots. At that. He's got manners. He does have manners. <laughs> now, giraffes only have teeth on the bottom. They don't have teeth on the top. Um, oh. And as do other ruminants. Ruminants have a multi-chambered stomach. So how long are their tongues? Their tongues are about 18 inches long, and they're basically prehensile. In other words, they can use them like a, net, like a finger. And the reason they're like that, there is acacia trees in Africa. These trees have thorns on them that are about four or five inches long. So they use their tongue and they reach in between the thorns and they pick the leaves off the trees. And the reason for the dark color of their tongue is it's basically like sunscreen. Every single giraffe has a different spotting pattern. Like our fingerprints, he has, he has this, this circle right here. Uh -huh. His dad has that same circle on his neck, but on the opposite side. So Buddy is starring in a documentary. Correct, yes. The birth, of, when Buddy was born, it basically set, set off, it was kind of the spark that set off this firestorm of, of awareness about giraffes and, and what they are facing in the wild. And they are facing rapid decline. And so this documentary is taken over four years. It's called Last of the Long Necks. Um, and it's also, you, so you can access online, lastofthelongnecks.com, and then it it will also be called Walking with Giraffes. So we'll be looking for that soon. Yeah. And you have a Giraffe Ambassador Program. How can folks be a part of that? Okay, the last year we had a Giraffe Ambassador Program that we started and it basically kicked off at the Wildlife Ranch. And so folks participated, it went over a six month period, culminated on the first ever Texas Giraffe Day, which is Buddy's birthday. And May 10th. May the 10th. And so this year we're gonna do the program the unveiling will be soon to where people worldwide can participate in the program. For more information on Natural Bridge and Wildlife Ranch, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I never knew that about the dark tongue mm -hmm. being kind of like sunscreen. sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Interesting, and the spotting pattern, yep. kind of like zebra stripes are all different exactly. and everything. Like, Very cool. That's neat. Well, after four years in the making, the documentary that we were talking about on the ninth known set of living giraffe twins, that was Buddy and, of course, his late sister, it's called Walking with Giraffes. That documentary is set to air on Nat Geo Wild Sunday morning at 8 a.m. All right. David Elder was seen noodling around. Not putting his hand down a catfish mouth, that type of noodling. A new local restaurant is steaming up, buns and getting saucy. We'll take you inside the kitchen at Ming's Noodle Bar. And cocktails that not only have a kick, they pop. We're shaking things up with Hotel Valencia and making refreshing pop-tail drinks. downtown San Antonio. This is SA Live. Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live. I'm out here at one of the highest rated new restaurants in San Antonio, Ming's Noodle Bar, to try out some of their worldly infused foods and to see what they got on the menu. Ming's Noodle Bar and Ming's Thing is on the list for everybody in San Antonio as the hottest new restaurant in town. When I was little, as a young girl, like every other young girl, little girl, want to be a star. 
on the stage. Yes, that that was my dream when I was little. But when I grew up, I love, I just love hospitality industry. Ming's noodle bar is a take on Chinese food with a German twist. This is our braised pork shoulder. Just cook until it's just like tender and soft. And they even incorporate Indian style sauces. Because we travel a lot, and then we travel Asia a lot, and then we travel to Europe and to Germany, you can clearly see some influence from like a German dishes like our pork belly. It's a completely German technique. Carlos is the manager in the kitchen and makes sure that all the food comes out perfect every time. I always tell people we're a noodle bar but people come for the buns. Some of the dishes that they have on the menu include a cold noodle dish and their steamed buns full of pulled pork or pork belly. Go for the steamed buns. What I say is it's a really nice introduction to what we do. The pulled pork has a really lot of full flavors going on in there and then there are a lot of fresh veggies. We do cilantro, scallions, carrots, then we do a really nice ginger dressing on top as well. Her husband Heinrich has extensive knowledge in both culinary and hospitality and brings his influence to the table. Yeah, the influence I have is in many ways. I like the smoked pork belly, which is by now one of our best sellers. And that's something I learned from my father to cure and smoke things. A lot of the recipes at Ming's Noodle Bar use authentic Chinese ingredients, including some like the fermented tofu that are a little extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Ming's Noodle Bar is rated high for a good reason. Their food is absolutely delicious and prepared fresh. I absolutely love this city and I love the people, I love this community. Uh, without them, Ming's thing is nothing. Oh, Carlos, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. So you come out to Ming's Noodle Bar, you can get all this delicious food from all across the world, heavy influences from everywhere, and their food is fantastic. You have to come try it. For SA Live, Woo! I'm David Elder. He gets all the good assignments. Okay, we are going to be shaking things up, a little salsa dancing. Oh, I hope she wore iron-toed shoes. I'm dancing with her. That's coming up. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. Look at those beautiful blue skies. Enjoy it today. All right, you know what you can do this weekend? Maybe uh, check out your water faucet. Take a look at it. If yours is like mine, it looks like that. And that is called scale from hard water. And there is a fairly simple way to remedy that. Will Hawkins, owner of Will's All Pro, is here. Good and to see you again. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, we are on limestone and that, you know, just chemical reaction, that dissolves and then it comes out and it collects around that. And, you know, not only does it look just kind of grungy and stuff, but then it's going to plug up and, and it can Stop yeah, it, it makes a little bit of a mess, but you know, you know, we're all about tips and what homeowners can do for, for their, for their home. And, and, um, we always start with a shower head. You know how a shower gets all that crusty stuff on it? Yeah, stuff yeah. Like you get, I mean, and then it plugs up the, the little yeah, holes and then in the shower head. Yeah, spraying kind of there. different ways or not spraying at all. And you lose all the water pressure and everything like yeah. that. So I, what do you so what I always, I always tell people is I get, a, get a little bag of um, vinegar mm -hmm. and just put it right up on top of there, maybe a rubber okay. band or a zip tie, and let that vinegar guy kind of just sit, sit up inside there for... Overnight. So okay, you said minimum an hour, maybe overnight. Yeah, depending like on how bad it is, you okay. know, if it's if if you keep maintain it, uh, half hour an hour, you're fine. And you get a little brush and brush maybe it off. maybe do that if once it's been a month. long time. You might want to set it overnight. Okay. But make sure in the morning. And a little tip. <laughs> and I told learned, you that story. I, I thought that, that was hilarious. Before. A little tip. You might want to take a piece of painter's tape and put it over either the shower handle or the shower door, or something like that. Because there was one time when I tried that, and I, you know, two o'clock in the morning, turned the shower on, all of a sudden it's like, and that, you know, vinegar all over the place. So, anyway, there's just a little tip to you with the painter's tape. So you, you'll have to tell me why you're taking a shower two in the morning, but sometimes that's another story. It's called GMSA. So. <laughs> all right, and also now with the, with the kitchen sink, and you've got these little aerator things. Yeah, this is what we're, this is. Exactly 
exactly what we're looking at here. And this right. is what kind of gets all grunged up. Look, look, if you can look at that one, see how dirty that is? We just pulled that off the back right now. Now, that's not just the builder, but that's also stuff that's yeah, in, the stuff in the water, too, coming yeah. out mm -hmm. here. So now this is a nice polished chrome finish. How do you get that off of Yeah, there? go ahead and spin that off. Just okay. spins right off. But if it's too tight, what can I use? Because I don't want to use uh, pliers because that's going to get it all. Yeah, you know, if you have right? to use pliers, we always put like a piece of. Um, Rubber, or maybe a towel or something that's kind of get it off. Or that. even a rubber band, just something to yeah, protect just something, it a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then you take those things off and take it apart, set it in, in a cup of vinegar. A couple hours later, take it apart, clean it up a little bit, and put it back together and it'll And just a little toothbrush and it'll do that? flow perfectly Whoops. once again. Okay, and don't drop this down the sink either, like we no, almost no, just not did the disposable there, so. anyway. All right, and hard water, you have got the perfect test. You know, because if you not really want to solve stuff, your hard water problems, oh, so softener is what is what we use. Okay. You know. So you, I, got, you have soft water there. I got hard water here. We're going to do a quick soap test, what I call a soap test. That's good. And this is what you will, I mean, not only not see that, but this is what you're then going to see. With I'm going to put a little, a little bit soap in here. There's a little soap residue in there already. But okay. there, look how hard that water is right there. Go ahead and shake that. Shake yours up. Look how much soap pulls up on mine. Same amount of soap. So this is why your shampoo doesn't lather up too well, why right. soap doesn't build up, and then... And so, and, and you'll get, you know, little uh, soap stays in your, in, in your fabric from, mm -hmm. from the hard water, and that's why your, your clothes will get a little dingier, brighter clothes here. Okay. Your clothes will last longer. You don't use soaps and creams like and out solutions. But also not only that, aerators and things, but also maybe the workings of your washing machine and your yeah, dishwasher. Yeah, there's a dishwasher picture better, up so. there. I think okay. they have one somewhere, but if you... Uh, you just, you right. know, dishwashers aren't cheap. Water heaters aren't cheap. Nope. Softeners, but you're paying for, for, for soft water, but you're just not getting Showerhead special, 49 yeah. bucks, you We're said. Not Softener, uh, tune-up special, two bags of salt, 49, and yeah. a water heater tune-up, 49. And you also said a soft water system. You said if you mentioned that. Yeah, you are asking me how much you can probably get one for. You know, you can get them as low as $50, $50 a okay. month. You can finance them. And... Um, uh, we'll give $200 off if you mention today's show. Okay. For more information, Wills All Pro, 734-8400. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, and good we'll to be back. back. Welcome back to SA Live. You're looking at drone footage of a home with solar panels on it's roof. Now, did you know that those panels can slash your electric bill not only by half, but pretty much the whole thing? Dan Moran from South Texas Solar Systems is here to tell you how. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Say it so. For real, it's half or even close to 100%. 100%. 100%. No half. The whole 100 way. All right. All the so way. Before we get into how much money you can save and how, let's talk a little bit about South Texas Solar Systems. Okay. Uh, we're a South Texas uh, based company uh, located in San Antonio. We have offices in uh, Austin, Laredo, Eagle Pass, and El Paso. Um, we got 10 years of experience here uh, in the South Texas. We have basically decades of uh, experience in all aspects of the solar business, uh, whether it be engineering, design, um, in install, electrical, and so uh, service maintenance. So you guys are local, decades local. of experience mm -hmm. on your staff, so you all yeah. know what you're doing. Exactly. Let's talk about the benefits of having solar panels. Well, the benefits of solar, it basically gets you away from um, rent, um, renting your, your energy. It puts you in the position to own your own energy, so that way you uh, can sell back that renewable energy back to your electrical uh, company. So. Uh, that's a great position to be in because, you know, if you're selling back energy, you added equity value to your home. And so how cool is that? So if you can add equity value to your home, that's, that's, that's a great thing for your, for a new ho homeowner or someone that's been there for years. Saving money and then making yeah. money. I making mean, money, yeah. If, that, if that's what you choose. So this is an investment that can really pay off right. in the long run. Exactly. Um, you also get a few rebates. That's right. If you get solar panels. Yes, the uh, CPS uh, and all the other electrical companies out there right now have rebates. Uh, Mission Solar Energy has also gotten involved and is providing another additional rebate for using their panels. So that's a great thing right now. And it's really uh, the prices for these panels are very uh, proper for the customer. So right now is a great time to get involved and do solar uh, and save money, really. And Mission Solar, of course, is also here in town. And that's one of the great things yeah. that sets Texas Solar Systems apart mm -hmm. is that you guys are one-stop shopping. One -stop. So 
they call you, literally, they can get a hold of you, and you can get a hold of the folks over at Mission Solar and That's take right. care of any issues. If there's a problem, they don't have to wait for no. a panel to be shipped in from overseas. Mm -hmm. It's manufactured. Right here, locally. right here. They have a great facility. It's 3,000 square foot. They actually uh, create the cells, make the cells, manufacture the panels there. Um, the panels are all new technology. Everything that we actually offer in our solar business is all new technology. But Mission Solar uh, panels, we're really happy with them because they provide a really great product and the prices, again, are very proper for the customer. All right. Now, for more information on South Texas Solar, you can call 829-5420. That's 829-5420. Or head to techtxsolarsystems.com. That's txsolarsystems.com. Dot com for more information, start that investment, and save some major cash in the long run. Coming up, it's one of those sip-worthy drinks you can have poolside. We're making cocktails with Hotel Valencia. And tomorrow on SA Live, it's the only Moroccan restaurant in the city. And get this, they've been featured on the Food Network. Jen Tobias Strusky takes you into this hidden gem. That's all tomorrow at 1. Ah, uh, what's better on a hot summer day than a nice popsicle? But this is not your kid's popsicle because that goes in a nice little uh, glass of bubbly there and it's got a kick to it. Jenny Bonda is here from Dorego's, the hot new bar in Hotel Valencia, which yes. just underwent the big, big remodel, right? $10 million renovation, yeah. And yeah. this is now the place to go and this little cocktail, so this is perfect on a hot summer day? Definitely. Good, okay. good cocktail for the summertime. And you want to keep yeah. these popsicles separate in the freezer from separate, yes. the kids? Definitely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, just saying. So, okay, how do we uh, go about making these great little popsicles? Okay, so we um, will put it in here, but okay. start off um, in this glass. But this is going to be our Salerno. It's a blood orange liqueur. Okay. So you don't have to use so, the jigger. Just go ahead. So is it made from uh, the great little blood, blood oranges oranges, here? Blood oranges, yes. It's okay. a very, very good um, liqueur that we use. Those things are so pretty looking. So, okay, so <laughs> just a... Uh, so... I could t I'll tell you one, one two, um, three. We're making it for all of these, so you can oh, pour a little oh. bit more. <laughs> all right, party <laughs> That's time. good. That's, That's good. good. Yes. Slopped a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> and this. And then this is Aperol. It's also another liqueur, mm -hmm. um, citrus, similar to Campari, but a little less bitter than okay. Campari. Okay. So we so. will just. Yes. One, two, three. Okay, and that's good right okay. there. Okay. And then fill it up with orange juice, maybe about up to here. Mm-hmm. The color of this thing is fantastic. It's, yes. And then add a little bit of water. Just, the, just a little splash mm -hmm. to make sure this will freeze up. To and the, freeze, and the exactly. alcohol content, and this is obviously not too it's much. It's not. No, they're all liqueurs, so it'll definitely gonna, freeze. Obviously, it's going to be able to freeze. So. Yes. And then we take a nice little, can you see it from right there, popsicle mold and... Do it quickly so it doesn't spill. <laughs> well. It's okay. So what other uh, great little snacks do you have there at... The bar at Hotel Valencia. Um, we have, for the bar menu, we have um, these lamb hatchets that are really, really tasty. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, yeah. We have some really excellent wings that mm -hmm. have a really good kick to it if you like spicy. Right. Um, and, you know, we have a really fantastic burger on the menu. We have, on the dinner menu, we have a tomahawk ribeye mm -hmm. that's 24 ounce. So if you're... Yeah, 24 oh. ounces if you're really hungry. And this, um, is what's, this is what scripts are for, is to mop up just in case you have a script laying around. So, Okay, so we put so, that in the freezer and freeze yes. that up, and we're going to end up with this great popsicle. This, this is the end And we result. put it in a champagne glass? Yes, so this is going to be a coupe glass. Um, you put the popsicle in, and then we're going to top it with Prosecco. Ah. So that's what. And so you can let it melt, get all the flavors in, or uh -huh. you can just take little bites of the popsicle. and But it's very, very tasty. Perfect. It, I yes. mean, this is great little picnic food it going is. on here yeah. with the little Definitely. popsicle there. So. Yes. Okay. And then Hotel Valencia is 150 East Houston. And East Houston. you said it is yes. the place to uh, go to nowadays, it is. right? And it the bar is. is called Durango's? We have Durango's. We have Naranja. We have two bars. Um, so mm -hmm. you have options to... And you can be one of the first in your neighborhood to get one of these because it just opened officially last week down there. So. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Let me tell you. See if you... <laughs> 
That's not the kind of popsicle you eat at the grocery store. Let me tell you that one, folks. Jenny, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Of course, for more information about Durango's in the Hotel Valencia, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That's not your kid's popsicle, let me tell you. All right, coming up, put your dancing shoes on and hit the dance floor. Seminaria Dance Studio is here to show you how to salsa like the pros. Stay with us.